Okay, yeah. Controversial. Uh, it'll be England today. I'm, never, I'm normally on the fence when it comes to England. Uh, okay. being, a, being a Kiwi and being married to a, an English girl, I think it's important to put the cat amongst the pigs there, Ian. But uh, <laughs> no, England, I, I know a few of the boys on the team, not, not well, but just to, just to say hello to, so yeah. be, be getting my full support. Okay. Um, tell me, is this your first time to polo? Yes, it is. I'm very excited to see the match. I think it's, um, yeah, I don't really know what to expect. It's great. Okay, is it the first time you've ever seen a polo match? Yes. Or? Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah right. it's okay. very new for me, so it's, uh, it's very exciting. So back to the game now and joining me is the England coach Javier Novillo Estrada. Javier, um, quite a uh, tricky first half, no? Yeah, very fast game. Uh, that is good for us. Uh, and uh, we were probably have a really bad uh, half checker, bad half checker in the third. And that they scored three fast goals and, uh, and put us down. Uh, we came back and they scored in the last second. So we have to get better in the throw-ins, and if we can get that, I think we have a good chance this half. Good luck for the second half. Uh, well, let's get straight back to the match. It's the second half here for the Audi International. Let's go straight to it. Back underway we go, the Americans on the march here, but a good hook there from James Byme, a little open backhander to himself. Look at this play here from Byme, he's got the measure of the treasure and he goes past the uh, American defence. It's James Byme trying to equalise here for England. Oh, he's missed a sitter. He did all the hard work. Let's have another look here as Polito Pieris comes in for a piece of the pie. Oh, he gets a little bounce and he's caned it out to the right. And you can see the disgust on James Byme's face. Done all the hard work and he is furious. So, chance goes begging. By me once again, onto the near side, back onto the offside. Plays a little tail backhander, looking for the run here of Tomlinson. Tomlinson comes down on that lovely long reach of his. He's like an octopus. He's gone past the American defence, and the backhander comes in, but it's a swing and a miss. As Azara comes back in defence, opens a backhander away from danger, but it's right on the doorstep. He's left it behind, and Mark Tomlinson has tapped it through for England. So, by me. With a big sigh of relief there after missing that one, that hopped on him. Oh, that's a complete air shot there from the Americans in defence. And Azara comes in. Oh, it's a bit unlucky as he his backhander hits Mark Tomlinson. And Mark says, thanks very much. It's like happy birthday, happy Christmas, happy Easter, all in one. And he was never going to miss from there. So back to the centre we go. Locked in at eight goals apiece here in the fourth chucker. Two minutes gone in this fantastic Westchester Cup. Luke Tomlinson leaning out. A couple of sticks raised, appealing for the foul as uh, Gansey comes in for the Americans. But it's uh, James Byme is going to peel the ball away here for England. And Byme puts the pedal to the medal and goes past his man. And he's on a fast one here. It's Byme now with a cut shot. Just adjusts his helmet, has time to do that. And then pops it downfield towards goal. He's overcut it, switches to the near side. But he's run out of space and he's out of play and over the back line. What a chance there for Byme. Cuts it round the corner and then adjusts the helmet there. Have a look at that. A uh, little flick shot there on the half volley, but he's just got his angles wrong. Tries to cut it back in field, but the Americans shepherd it out and out of play. So it'll be uh, possession back to the USA as uh, picked up nicely here from Polito Pieris. Pieris now fires it downfield for the run of Azaro coming downfield, but it's going to be well read this time by Luke Tomlinson. Tomlinson here in defence for the. English team opens the backhander, lands right in front of his uh, brother there who has to come and meet that head-to-head -head as the backhander was a little bit short, but the Americans here have left the back door open and it's Bymey once again with another chance, surely this time it's Bymey, he's missed two, this chucker, James Bymey pushing it out to the left, he's going to try and straighten it up, it's still Bymey running it down towards goal, he's got it this time, nine goals to eight in favour of England. Bymey having missed a couple this chucker the one that hopped on him hopped uh, on him and he came out of uh, play on the on the far end but this time there's no mistaking from James Byme lovely play on the run just steadies the pony here gets the little tap shot doesn't quite middle that approach but he gets another little tick shot tickle shot on it and then flicks it inside that post good play from James Byme the number one so England Ahead in this match for the first time. Nine goals to eight they lead. Chance here for Tomlinson to clear his lines. A little pop pass out towards John Paul Clark and Clark in with his stick raised and the whistle's gone once again. 
as the Americans come in with a big backhander, but they fouled in the process. Little lofted pass out to Clarkin, who picks up the line immediately. Now, watch the American number three. Boom, right in front of him, and that has got to be a foul as Roldan came in. So, let's see. Amer England were going forward there, so that will obviously affect the umpire's decision as to where this penalty will be taken from. Will they move it up to the halfway or perhaps even further? And it's going to be Cool Hand Luke, the number four. He's got a very good swing, hits the ball hard, and he's particularly good at penalties. Let's see what he's got today. Has he got the coolness for this? He wants a nice steady rhythm to this pony. A couple of practice swings. Get your head down, Luke. Nice and relaxed, buddy. Penalty four. England looking for ten goals to eight. Tomlinson on a long run up. Oh, the pony just stalling on him a little bit. He wants a bit more rhythm, but he's got a good shot on it. Has he found it? Is it straight? Well, the goal judge is just standing there. He hasn't given me any clue as to what. Oh, it's a goal. It's a goal. Let's have a look here from the reverse angle. Oh, that's definitely through, surely. The Americans think, oh, the Americans think it's wide. It's a tough one. Goal judge is uh, sitting on the fence on that one, and I think the umpire have intervened. And it is, in fact, 10 goals to eight, and Luke doing a good job there on that penalty as that pony came in, just lacking a little bit of impulsion. But he got the job done, and there's a cut shot downfield looking here for the run of Mark Tomlinson. Mark Tomlinson cutting that one down towards goal as the 30-second bell goes. Back in defence for America goes Azaro. Azaro with a lovely-looking tail backhand out towards Paulito Pieris. It's Pieris now looking on the far side, but he's caned it off the side of his stick, and it's hit the boards, and that will be the end of the fourth chucker. It's ten goals to eight in favour of England. Anyway, we're going to roll in from the centre. And the umpire just again calling for a little bit of decorum, a bit of a channel, a gap between the two sets of player. You can't have any contact before the ball is in play between the ponies. And that one's back underway and it's Clark in, but he didn't get round the corner and uh, it's been stolen away here by Pieris. Pieris now out of the air. Good play here, Polito Pieris now downfield and he's going to put the... The pedal down after Berners are on here, and this is a chance for America. Desperate defence there from England. It's right on the doorstep, and it's in. The Americans have pulled one back. Nine goals to ten, they trail. Super bit of skill there from Polito Pieris. Let's have a look. Pops it, little half volley there, another little half volley. Decides to try and put the burners on and go past Tomlinson, and he does. And it comes off a pony. Tomlinson with a backhander, but really unlucky there for Luke. It cannons off somebody and drops back down on the goal line, right in front of the goal, and the Americans muscle it over the line. Well, we're halfway through the fifth chucker here, and the atmosphere is certainly getting tense down here in both camps. It's 10-9 to England, so join us after the break for the climax of the Audi International for the Westchester Cup.
Welcome back. You join us halfway through the fifth chucker and England lead 10 goals to nine. It's going to be Appleby, Julian Appleby to restart us here. The umpire just calling once again for a clear channel between these two sets of players. A lot of jostling going on before the ball's in and we're back underway. And James Byme is there for England, but uh, he can only tickle it as far as Nick Roldan. It's Roldan now, the American, opens his shoulders and thumps that one downfield, looking here for the run of Pieris. It's Paulito Pieris trying to tie the game with a cut shot. Oh, he's just wide to the left. Looked like it was a bit too close to the pony, needed a bit more space to get the angle. Lovely hit downfield, if anything, just slightly out to the left. And have a look here as uh, Pieris comes in. Oh, so close, isn't it? Back in possession of the ball, and this is a little team play here from the training ground as Luke thumps that one across field under his pony's neck, looking here for the run of James Byme. Byme now opens his shoulders and lofts it downfield, looking in return here for John Paul Clarkin. Clarkin coming down on a fast pony, but he's been snuffed out of the play by the experience of Mike Azaro. Oh, a swing and a miss there from the Americans. And here comes Mark Tomlinson and Mark Shawley. Oh! He's Mr. Sitter. What a chance there for England to have gone two up and mark well. Let's have a look. The backhander comes in, swing and a miss, nothing but fresh air on that. And Tomlinson, well, he had a bounce, but did he lift his head? I don't know. He'd be disappointed, I think. He's got to score from there. And he's caned it out. You can see what it means to him, a cry of anguish. What have I done? Back underway and the difference is still one the Americans still oh looks like somebody's just got one in the face that looks like Mark's just received a full swing there in the face and he's not happy about it there's a little coming together there watch this Azaro on the march here for the Americans comes in they both think they got the line of the ball and Mike Azaro wraps his stick across the bridge of Mark Tomlinson's nose and let's hope he's okay my word have a look here. Well, who's on the line? I mean, you see, normally someone's going to pull out there. They both got their head down looking for the ball. Of course, Azara doesn't mean to club him one in the face there. It was an accident, but they, uh, well, they both had their eyes on the ball. Be very interesting to see what the umpires decide here. They're going to sit on the fence and give a roll in. So uh, resulted in a throw in and coming around the corner here is Luke Tomlinson. Luke stealing the ball away, the number four here for England on this lovely bay pony. It's Tomlinson now opening up this dark bay, but coming back in defense is Azaro. Azaro with a little play, but it's fallen right onto the stick here of Mark. And Mark will be fired up after that last play. Bime comes in, James Bime in front of the American, and the whistle surely has gone. The whistle has not gone. Play will continue, and John Paul Clarkin thumps it through the middle. And the goal goes to England, 11 goals to nine. Well, let's have a look at this. Mark here with a chance, meets that beautifully head to head. Then he's over the top of the next tap here. And did Bimey come in front of the American? He was appealing for the foul there, Gansey, no whistle. And JP Clarkin under the pony's neck, fires it through the crowd of players, straight through the middle. So the difference is two. It's 11 goals to nine. England now with a tiny bit of breathing space as Luke opens his shoulders once again, looking for the run of his brother who's been well marked out of the play. The Americans back in defense. Little tail backhander and right onto the stick there of his teammate. That's good play on the far side. But uh, good marking once again from England and Luke will return that and drop it right in front of James Byme. Byme now with a chance to open his shoulders and fire it downfield towards Mark. Here's a chance here for Mark Tomlinson. Mark looking for the cut shot. Oh, he's overcut it. What a chance there to bury them. The difference would have been three. It was a really good play. Lovely play from Luke to James. By me there with the cut shot downfield. Let's see where Mark is. Oh. Well, you feel he's got a score there. He's just overdone it. The angle wasn't that great, and he's just put a little bit too much cut on that ball and cut it across the face. Windsor Great Park, one of the spectacular settings of polo here in this country. A beautiful pitch, beautiful surroundings. But the Americans won't be too concerned about that. What they want is a goal, and they want a goal now. He's topped it downfield. Is it going to reach? Doesn't look like the best shot in the world, but uh, 
Meeting that play very neatly there was Polito Pieris. Pieris with a little backhander to himself, and he comes around the houses and tries to get the better there of Mark Tomlinson. Tomlinson gets the hook, but he's left the ball behind, and the Americans are there in numbers. This is the power play from the Americans. Coming back in defence, he'll have to switch to the near side. It's Luke Tomlinson in defence. It's going down towards the goal. He's hit the post. It's in! They've done it! The goal that they needed with just over a minute remaining. It's 10 goals to 11, and look at this play here from Roldan. He goes round the whole lot, switches to the near side. That looks so close. It hits the post, and it's over the line. Super play. After Berners are on, Luke's appealing for a foul, but wow, they just can't get there, and it was too cute, wasn't it, from Roldan? And what a timely goal it was. Pressure on here for England, and this is anybody's as Tomlinson comes across here with Paulito Pieris. Tomlinson appealing for the foul, but the umpire's whistle remains silent. A swing and a miss there from the Americans. Back in defence, here comes... Rolled down, I think it is. It's rolled down, turning the play here. By me, will have to clear the way. And there's a power play from the Americans. He's thumped that downfield. Can they equalize? It looks pretty good. Under the neck from Azaro. It's hit the pony. Still in play. Little flick shot on the near side. He's hit the post. Backhander comes in, and the goal is awarded. It's Mike Azaro, I think, with the final touch. It's all happening here. It's 11 goals apiece. And England, two minutes remaining, two goals to the good, have conceded two goals. And this game is very, very much alive as we see the little flick on the near side. It comes off the post and Azaro says, you snooze, you lose. I'm going to have a bit of that. He had the initial shot there, Mike Azaro. Goes out a shot, comes back through the goal and plays the little backhander in. Thank you very much. Well, would you believe it? It's 11 all. And we could well be going to a seventh chucker here. They will play the 30 seconds as John Paul Clarkin muscles his way through and shovels it downfield, but there's no one there for England. Back in defense here is Azaro. Azaro with a very, very tight backhander, and it's fallen for Luke. There's a whistle. Incredible drama late in the sixth chucker as the USA tie the game, and we are headed into a golden goal extra time chucker. It's a tense time in the pony lines as the players and coaches discuss last minute tactics as they head back out onto the field. And we're back underway and it's cannon off a pony and turning here for England is James Byme. Byme opening up the backhand and looking for the run there of uh, Clarkin. I think it was flying through but the Americans have half stolen it. John Paul Clarkin with a stick hook. Lovely play there from Roldan. Takes the hook and then plays the little backhander. Luke Tomlinson with a lofted drive back in field but it's going to fall nicely here for the Americans. Mark Tomlinson comes through with a stick raise but the umpires are having none of it. And it's fired downfield. Can he pick up the bouncing ball? He can't but he's got a little bit of backup. And coming downfield here are the Americans on a power play. It's America coming down with the ball. Big bump there from Luke Tomlinson on Gansey, who's put in a really good play there on that final play. Good play from him, but turning things here for England. Falls onto the stick here of Nick Roldan. Roldan here with a chance for America. He fires it downfield, looking for a front runner as he found it. It's a lofted shot. It's wide to the right. And possession will go back to England. A minute gone here. And we're still locked at 11 goals apiece. Remember, it's first goal that wins it. As we watch the replay, that was super play there from Polito Pieris with a massive lofted drive. But he's gone wide to the right. And England will regain possession. And it's going to be Luke Tomlinson looking for the pass here on the run of John Paul Clarkin. Clarkin now receiving, latching onto this ball. He's under a little bit of pressure, but he's going to run it himself. John Paul Clarkin under pressure here from Paulito Pieris. He's over the top of the play, and Pieris has left it behind as well. Surely that's going to be Luke's ball. Luke now trying to peel this one away from the boards, which is never easy. He comes in field, and he goes past Paulito Pieris. Switching onto the near side is Tomlinson. He's over the top of the play, backed up this time by the big man himself, the number three, John Paul Clarkin. And it's Clarkin dancing his way past Pieris. Clarkin bearing down on goal. These are nervy moments. He's plucked it out of the air. It's John Paul Clarkin looking for the flick shot to goal. He's got it! He's got it. It's John Paul Clarkin. And England will win the Westchester Cup 2013 by 12 goals to 11. John Paul Clarkin with a 
cool head here he goes he puts the little tap goes past Pieris a couple of little taps plucks it out of the air he's pushed that violently to the left but what a flick that is under pressure a little reverse neck shot and he straightens it up and it's over the line super bit of skill here from Clarkin look at this pops up half volley plucks it out of the air but he's pushed it out to the left and look at that how cool is that here he is once again there he, he decides to go past his man after burners are on little half volley plucks it there and this well, at this point it doesn't look good but that is as cool as you like little reverse flick thank you very much and look what it means to him so England victorious again JP Clarkin with the winning goal in extra time to retain the trophy for England James Bimes stepping forward to receive a saddle there from Jeff Thomas from Tally Ho Farm. That is an MVP award, the most valuable player. And here is the best playing pony. So disappointment for captain Nick Roldan and Team USA as he receives his team's runners-up prize from His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales. And so to receive what's surely one of the most incredible trophies in world sport, the captain of England, Luke Tomlinson, steps forward to receive the Westchester Cup from His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales, and what a magnificent trophy. Absolutely stunning trophy, and look what it means to Luke. Well, joining me is obviously the winning England team here for the Audi International. Uh, Luke, how do you feel? Yeah, very lucky, and... Uh... Yeah, we got it done. Yeah. Just. Just. <laughs> Mark? Yeah, we've made it harder work than it should have been. The score doesn't kind of suggest that we dominated, but I think we did dominate. But then an extra chuck is anyone's game. So, yeah, we were pretty lucky to win it in the end. James, really strong first half. Uh, England, you know, popping some goals up on the scoreboards. Uh, then what happened? Uh, no, the first half we went well. The third, we, we let them back in with three quick goals, which we got back quickly. But, yeah, as we said, we missed a lot of goals and um, we couldn't put them to bed so we we're lucky to, to get it in extra time. JP I'm gonna to have to ask you uh, what, were you what was going through your mind in that extra chuck as you're coming towards goal it seemed to just kind of bounce all over the place um, how did you feel? The score or you'll be de deported I think was the thing you know. <laughs> <laughs> score or you'll be deported? <laughs> <laughs> no 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 just happy just <laughs> just do what you can and then luckily it came off but yeah no obviously pretty happy. Good to be an Englishman today. <laughs> Indeed. Good. Thank you for <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. The uh, England team retained the Westchester Cup. It's the third time now that we have had it. And what a great polo here we've been treated to at Guards Polo Cup for the Audi International. It's England win today. See you next time.